coming. All right, what's up, everyone? This is Sarge. So the Pellington got a buff with the most recent patch for Warzone Season 2. Um, and that primarily has to do with the rear grips being fixed, finally, for all of the weapons. They actually do what they say they are doing. And also the muzzle wrap, which I wasn't aware of. Um, if you guys are familiar, the muzzle wrap or the wrap suppressor, which was essentially the mono suppressor uh, for the Black Ops weapons, they uh, originally, when they came out, they had just busted stats, meaning they just weren't that great. And so once they switched them over to actually mimic the mono suppressor for Modern Warfare, all of the su suppressors got fixed except for the Pellington. And that has been an ongoing thing pretty much for uh, ever since the migration. Um, and so now they finally fixed how it handles and it's basically just as far as the stats go, line up with the mono suppressor from modern warfare and that's pretty much all across the board now um, and then i wanted to test a couple of uh, attachments mainly adding a laser um, as opposed to an optic and um, the ammunition which i'm just running around as far as my default which is seven round mag um, so there's going to be a couple different loadouts i'm going to be playing around with but this is the one i have defaulted to meaning i think works best with this build, um, the only variation would probably be the optic. If you do have a designated optic, obviously the one to go for is the four times because there's no scope glint. But I'm assuming if they do eventually add scope glint to the scopes that don't have them already, um, you probably would want to use the default. I like the default personally. Um, and now with the serpent wrap adding extremely better uh, AADS. This is going to be the attachment you're going to want to run with this gun. You don't have to worry about sprint to fire. Um, if you watch uh, Chu uh, game data, he basically covers sprint to fire. Doesn't really work unless you're just running around no scoping. If you ADS, it doesn't count for that. So uh, seven round mag just to keep uh, your ammunition pool a little high if you're you know scoping in and trying to take out multiple targets. Um, I did play around with the barrels. There were a couple of them that I tried. Um, Tiger team because of the fire rate bullet velocity. I actually like this one pretty good especially for aggressive play But you do notice the hit to bullet velocity versus the combat recon Which is pretty much what you run on all your black ops snipers to maximize that bullet velocity um, The other one was reinforced heavy too, but again <clears throat> There's just nothing that really compares to the bullet velocity and this problem happens with this gun specifically is it just seems like it takes forever your, for your bullet to get to the target or you're just missing shots you shouldn't be missing and I don't know if you've experienced that in um, uh, just the pickup uh, Pellington's on the ground or in general your shots just don't line up and there's a huge stability issue with both snipers there's just a lot of sway that's what turns off a lot of players from uh running these weapons as meta obviously the car 98 is going to be the best sniper in the game um hdr as well um but with these changes it's pretty good i, I actually added this target laser uh designator to add effective damage range and aim walking movement speed so i get a little bit mobility um, and then you can increase that range even more and this thing just absolutely slaps with this set of attachments uh, but once again, if you do want to swap in an optic, you could probably swap in an optic for the laser um, or an ammunition if you want to scale down to five. That's up to you. But everything else here, as far as the wrap suppressor, combat recon, and serpent wrap, are going to be your go to for this meta loadout. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be pairing this bad boy up with the new Groza. And I say new because they've actually changed the barrels around. And now that we have serpent wrap wrapped into the meta, of things you're gonna be wanting to run that on your ARs. Uh, so the middle spec is basically a, a new barrel. They It's the same barrel as far as the name goes. They've just added damage and strafe speed, which the other ARs do not have. So this is the only AR that has that. Uh, so it's gonna give it a little bit of a kick to it. Um, KGB pad, which is your Raider stock pad, and then your 60 round mag drum, which I'm scaling back now that they have increased the ADS for the fast mags. Um, you get a little bit more less ADS with the uh, drum mag versus the fast mag. So scaling that down. This is pretty much what I'm running also on my FAR. Um, that is pretty much what works for me with an exception to the barrel, obviously. Um, this would be a task force barrel and it has different stats. So um, pretty much everything. Groove suppressor is again, your mono suppressor. And that's pretty much my go-to for the Groza. Yeah, Groza does feel a little bit stronger, but it's not going to, you're not gonna outgun players who are using it afar 
or even a CR56 AMAX, uh, but it definitely has that uh, kick to it. And it's an ideal gun for any sniper. If you run this and pair it up with a sniper, it works really well. So give it a shot. Give these two weapons a shot, this new loadout. Um, I had an absolute blast going back to the Pellington again, running this new attachment setup. Feels really good. Uh, definitely recommend it. So yeah, check it out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Enjoy today's games. Take care. Be advised, enemy team is tracking your location. Hostile dropping in. Enemy soldier incoming. Enemy dropping into the AO. Ah! 
Ah, I need that skin. Hostile dropping into the area. Watch the sky. <laughs> Enemy UAV overhead. Enemy soldier incoming! Enemy UAV overhead! Enemy soldier incoming! Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for resupply. Enemy UAV overhead! Area. Watch the skies! Coming. 